everyone welcome back to my channel prince automation destination this side prince so today we are going to talk about another important topic that is how to execute our test cases in parallel using test engine so there are various ways we can execute our test cases in parallel using parallel equal to test methods and classes in test and gxml this is one of the most widely asked interview question as well like what is the difference between parallel equal to test methods and classes so at the end of this particular lecture you'll be able to answer this particular question as well now in order to understand current lecture you should have some good understanding around test and like how to create test cases in test and and how to execute test cases using test and right so to demonstrate the same let me jump onto the practical demonstration so i'll discuss at high level right so for that purpose what i have done is i have created one sample may one project and when we create may one project one pom.xml is generated inside that we can provide the dependencies that is needed by the project right so if you're not familiar with may one you can check out my series on may one i'll be sharing the link of same in i icon right now we have provided test engine so this particular library will be available to the project so we can utilize it right so now what i have done is under src test java section i have created one package tests right inside that i have created one class this is known as test class so this is how we create test classes in test ng right now inside this particular class i have created two methods sample one and sample two and if you will notice i have annotated these particular methods with at the rate test annotation right and if you will notice this at the rate test annotation is coming from test ng library right so when we annotate a particular test a particular method with at the rate test annotation this become a test case of test engine right so if you will notice so we have two test cases and they both have some sample statement so we are printing the method name sample one thread so we are printing the thread id and we are printing the name of the class right so let us try to execute our first test case so we can execute them individually we can execute all the test case of a class so let us execute first case right so to execute in IntelliJ we have this option so we can click on this and we can execute so you will notice that sample one thread one tests dot test one because it belongs to test one right so sample one is it is getting printed from here sample one thread and thread id is one and test dot test one right similarly if for example we want to execute all the test cases of a particular class so in that case what we can do is we can simply run the entire class so when we execute entire class so they both will run in sequence one after another right sample one and sample two right so if you will notice so they both executed using same thread so thread id is same so we can uh, like understand that they both executed in sequence and using the same thread right so this is how we can execute our test cases like individual test cases as well as entire uh, like class right so there is another way in test ng to execute our test cases that is test ng xml right so let me explain you test ng xml so test ng xml is nothing but a suit xml right where we can define the suit name we can define the test name right so suit name for example could be regression suit or uh, uh, like uh, smock suit right or sanity suit test name could be a module name like login module or something whatever you want to give name and class is the test class that we want to provide so we need to have classes and under that we can point the specific classes right okay so now this is the sample test and xml right so in this sample test and xml we are again pointing to test one right so in this case if i'll try to execute this particular test and xml so these test cases of this test one class will execute in sequence right so you see sample one got executed and sample two got executed using the same thread thread one right so we discussed about how to execute the test cases using in different ways individually using class and using test in xml so now to demonstrate it further what i have done is i have created sample classes right so test 2 it also consists of two sample test cases right similarly i have test 3 as well so i'm going to utilize all three classes for the demonstration right now so far we have discussed about sequential execution right so what we discussed in sequential execution so when we are trying to execute our test cases they are running one after another so as a result they will take more time because they are getting into queue 
and one after another is getting processed so as the result they will take more time so we can utilize testng parallel execution feature to execute all the test cases in parallel or at least five test cases in parallel right and uh, by providing some configuration right so this way what will happen is our test case will run in parallel and execution time will be reduced right so how we can execute them in parallel so we can provide parallel equal to methods classes and test and we can execute them in parallel right so let us try to understand so we can provide this parallel attribute at suit level as well as test level so first we will discuss at suit level so we are going to provide parallel right parallel equal to none so parallel equal to none or not providing any, any parameter they both are same so if i provide parallel equal to none even now it will execute the test cases in sequence so let us cross verify so you see sample 1 is getting executed then sample 2 is getting executed if you will notice they both executed using the same thread right now there are other options as well right so parallel equal to true for instances methods test and classes so we are going to cover classes tests and methods we are not going to cover instances false and true false and true actually are deprecated so if i'll hover over here somewhere so we'll be able to show you right so if i'll hover over here here you will see that parallel whether test and you should different threads right don't use true and false values they are now deprecated right so we should not use true and false and instances is very rarely used and don't have much use cases so we are going to focus on classes test and methods right so let us discuss about methods right so with methods what do we mean right so methods meaning test methods right so what we are doing here is we are pointing to test one right so here methods meaning uh, the methods having at the test annotation or test cases right so if i for example execute this test in xml right with parallel equal to methods so in this case what will happen is both the test cases will get the separate thread so to confirm let me re-execute this so you see sample 2 and sample 1 they are executing in parallel so to confirm so one test case got executed using 19 thread and another test case got executed using 18 thread right so by default test ng provide five as a capacity of threads so by default we can maximum run five threads however we can reduce it as well so what if for example we provide test 2 as well right so test 2 also contains two test cases so if i'll go inside test 2 so test 2 also contain two test cases right so now if i try to run this particular test and xml so now four test cases will be running in parallel right why because uh, these are separate classes but it is going to consider methods right it's it is going to provide threat to each method right now what we can do we can right click and we can re-execute Okay, so if you will notice that all four test cases executed through separate thread 24, 23, 21 and 22, right? So this is how we can execute our test cases using parallel equal to methods, right? So this is one way. Now we can execute two classes also in parallel, right? So by this, what will happen is, so we are going to use the same configuration. So in this case, what will happen is we will get one thread for this particular test case and one thread for this particular test case so what will happen is the, these two test classes will be running in parallel but test cases inside this would be running in sequence meaning the test cases of this particular test case would be running by one thread and test cases of this particular class would be running by separate thread right so to confirm what we can do we can write So I'll show you. So two classes would be running in parallel. So test one and test two would be running in parallel, right? So to verify that test one would be executed using one thread. So if you will notice, to test one sample one is executed using thread twenty, and test one sample two is executed using 
20 thread as well right similarly test 2 sample 2 and test 2 sample 1 they are executed using a single thread right so we are getting two threads one for each class right so if i'll similarly provide another class so that also will be running in parallel right now parallel equal to classes is also considered what is parallel equal to test people are generally confused between parallel equal to test and methods so test is nothing but a test block actually we are talking about methods meaning a test case right okay that is already covered so when we provide parallel equal to test so what we can do is instead of providing class here what we can do is we can do like this right so in one test we are quite pointing to one test one 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 test class and in second test block we are pointing to other test class so what we are going to do we are going to provide parallel equal to test right so in this case what will happen let us see so in this case we will get one thread for this and one thread for this right so we got one issue that uh, two tests in the same suit cannot have the same name because we have copy pasted so we forgot to change the name so we can simply provide here and we can run it once again so you see test one and test two they are running in parallel right so to confirm we can verify from here so sample one and uh, test one is executed using thread 18 and sample two test one executed using thread 18 similarly sample one sample two of test two is executed using thread 19 right so this is how we we can utilize parallel equal to test classes and methods so similarly we can uh, provide parallel here as well right so i would request you to please try it on your own right so for example when we are providing parallel equal to test right so similarly you can provide parallel equal to methods as well so this way it will be running internally the test cases in parallel right so we got two threads here so internally this particular test block will get another two threads one per uh, like test case right so this is how we can reutilize so i'll i'm leaving it up to you for the exercise purpose right so so far we discussed about parallel equal to test and classes and methods and we discussed that by default uh, test end is going to consider maximum five threads so we can restrict as well so for example if i for example what i can do i can let us say uh, we are pointing to one test right so i'm coming back to the normal configuration so in this case for example if i provide parallel equal to methods so this particular test case uh, test class has two methods so it will run two test cases in parallel right so if i for example provide thread count equal to two yeah uh, thread count equal to one so it will run only one test case okay so it is like a sequential execution right so you see that we can restrict the number of threads as well okay so to uh, to further explain what we can do is we can create another test method inside this and let us change a little bit sample 3 right and what we can do here is we can come back to test and gxml and if we for example don't provide thread count so in this case it will be running three test cases in parallel right so let us first verify this so it will be running three test cases in parallel sample 1 sample 2 and sample 3 okay so 19 20 and 21 right so what if i provide thread count equal to 2 so in this case it will run two test cases in parallel and once one is completed it will go to the third okay so sample one and sample two are executing so once any of these is completed it will jump to the third one okay so this is how we can utilize uh, the parallel attribute and thread count attribute to execute our test cases in parallel so this is what i wanted to cover as part of current lecture in case you wanted to understand how to utilize uh, test in gxml to execute your test cases in selenium i have already covered a video on it i'll be sharing the link of same in i icon you can check out from there i have discussed about the challenges as well and discussed about how we can utilize thread local as well so thank you for watching i would request you to please like share and subscribe and would request you to please click on the bell icon so that you get the notification thank you once again bye bye